Hello? <gasps> well? Well? Oh, told me to bring something for Aveline. Not this time, Dan. Ha ha! Hello and welcome. Don't stop whinging, Dan, you're fine. Oh. It's only a bit of an axe. I guess it is just a little oh. flesh wound. Calm down, right. Hi there, everyone. Welcome to Seriously Hungry Halloween Spooktacular. Three. Three. Yeah, we've done this for a long time. We have five spooky items for you this time. A fright fest. <laughs> Let's start with one that's sure to be gortastic. Monster Laboratory Body Bits. Ooh, body bits are back. Strawberry flavoured gummy sweets. These are slightly more nicely packaged than last time. Yeah, last year's did look a lot cheaper. Yeah, these are perfect for monster parties. Well, it's only one party really, I mean, Halloween is done. The Halloween party. Let's have a look. Oh, they smell sweet. Oof. Oh god, I'm catching the smell from here. <laughs> oh. These are extremely sweet. Um, okay, um, grab a random. You can't tell what they are, oh. so you've grabbed them. Okay. So they come. So what did I get? These are strawberry flavour, apparently, so. It does kind of smell like an approximation. What did you get? Uh, oh, you got an eyeball. Like an eyeball, yeah. Delicious. I have a feeling these are going to taste exactly the same as last time's, but just they do feel slightly softer, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a nice soft texture to it. Yeah, I've got a foot. I'll show that to camera two. It's a big Kelvin eye as well, nice big piece. Mm. I've got a foot. There's something horribly round about this eye. The eyes are <laughs> slightly it's looking at you. oval. Yeah, but it's got a flat back, which most eyes don't have, eh? <laughs> oh, there is that. <laughs> it's got something artificial strawberry about the smell. It smells heavily artificial, mm. although it doesn't smell too cheap. I'll give it that. It's like some sense of quality to the look and feel of this. Yeah, maybe our eyeball doesn't, but it smells horribly <laughs> cheap. Let's, let's, let's give it up. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> oh, that's tough. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh, that's I disgusting. I lose my teeth and my mouth shut with every bite. Oh, so sweet. Oh, that is. Oh, these are horrible. <laughs> yeah. It's the real fright of Halloween. Yeah, these are frighteningly awful. That, like, that, that sticks with you as well. The sweetness. Oh, you can get back in there. No, I'll go finish it. Oh, no. Not a chance. Give you a good jaw workout, though. Yeah. Once you've got a good strong <laughs> jaw for Halloween. You'll be able to chomp through this whole bag. I mean, it, it's any consolation, it was only a quid. It was a quid, and you get quite a big bag of them. And by how hard they are to chew through, I guess they'll last a while, but. Yeah. You'll be sicker than they. I'd feel, I'd feel terrible. I would feel terrible giving these out to kids on trick or treat. <laughs> well, that's it. The kids that don't make an effort and don't dress up enough, you give them them. How about the uh, the body parts then, Dan? This year's body parts. They seem like an improvement at first, but then the taste was pretty poor. Two Dan's. This is seriously a horrible. Next up, on the Halloween docket, we have. 
Zombie finger lollipops. Zombie fingers. These are the fingers they have locked straight off zombies. And they recall last year we had witch's fingers that were um, little biscuits. Yes, this time we have zombies fingers. Oh. No lollipops. Let's French these open. There we go. So, yeah. They each have a different coloured fingernail. Look, which fingernail colour do you want there? Oh, I think I'll have this reddish one. This one? There's a red one. I'll have, yeah. uh, I'll have purple. Awesome. So these... I'll just, uh, just try and wipe uh, this blood off the glasses. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I think I got it. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Ah, witch's fingers. Look at that, it's kind of luminescent in the light. Yeah. I'm going to cut my way into mine with these tiny little child scissors. Yeah, I do mine the old fashioned way. That they're actually very, work as well as a thought. They're very knobbly. <laughs> yeah, it's quite hard to get your pearl past the almost there. There we go. What flavour are these? Smells of nothing. Apple flavour. Smells of literally nothing, maybe a slight <laughs> slight hint of table sugar. Yeah. If you were to, if you if you were to smell sugar, just just plain sugar, that's what it smells of. It doesn't smell of any kind of fruit. They really are freakishly knobbly though. Yeah. Like what fingers kind of knobble left both ways? Well I guess they are witches. No zombies. Zombies. Yeah, they're slightly rotten I suppose, and they've got a sugar nail. There's something unpleasant about the whole thing. That's got a horrible texture. For a lollipop. Yours looks smoother than mine. It certainly doesn't taste smooth. That's got a horrible rough texture, look. They're a slightly different colour. Yeah, hmm. But I guess not all zombies are equal. Ugh! <laughs> Pretty bad, isn't it? Oh, what the. That doesn't, that doesn't taste like apple. It kind of tastes just like rank sugar. Like yeah. turned milk. It tastes just like turned milk. It almost looks like mine's a different shade of green in this line. <laughs> it is. I'm going to hold these up to the camera. They're different colours, right? It's not just us. <laughs> and these things look really disturbing. Yeah. I don't know, maybe mine's horrible enough. I don't know. I don't know. It tastes pretty off. Really stale tasting. Oh yeah, that just tastes. Yeah, oh, it's horrible. Ones. Yeah. There's no apple flavour whatsoever in that. You think kids are like cats and like they'll eat like really bad tasting food and think it's good for them? That's the only oh, logic behind me. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm putting mine away. The that's bad trick or treaters can have. That's that horrible. Well. Yeah. 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 That's, that's for the trick-or-treaters that just show up and go, give me some money. Oh. Yeah. yeah, they're having a, a zombie thing. Or oh, they look too old for trick-or-treating. Yeah, actually the adults that come to the door and you know, have some cash. Oh. Well, the, oh. the next thing had better be a treat. Zombie fingers? Those grotesque zombie fingers made me sick. One then. Seriously knobbly and disgusting. <laughs> So this should wash away that vile taste, hopefully. This is my skull of hot sauce. An eerie skull of hot sauce. Yes, with a uh, with a two ninety nine sticker on the front of its head. Oh, a steal as well, only two ninety nine. Two ninety nine for a whole skull of hot sauce. Um, it did come with this little tag. Um, should I hold that skull for a sec? It says uh. Fiery Diablo hot sauce. Can you handle the heat? So we've handled we've handled heat on seriously hungry before, but never straight from a skull. Diablo heat as well. So, drop some fire on your meal, or as we'll be doing, dropping some fire onto these spoons. Very roomy looking sauce. It is. It's very thin hot sauce. Right. So hold out your spoon. 
so we don't spill it everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll grab the spoon and you can take it from me. Very thin. It's like the world's worst doctor. Is it? Yeah, dosing out some uh, hot sauce. Ugh, it smells like rotten vinegar. <laughs> Great. Let's put that down there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it does just smell like vinegar and um, <laughs> something else. Oh, that is diabolical, they're alright. <laughs> it might be diabolical in taste rather than diabolical in uh, flavour. I don't know if camera two can see that. But... Oh. I've lost all my enthusiasm for this yeah. one though. <laughs> oh, let's oh, give it a go. Yeah. Oh, it's got a bit of a spice, spice to it. It's got a very nice, very, that's very spicy actually. Yeah. Mmm. I wasn't expecting it to be that spicy, but, mm. yeah, it's very spicy. But, oh god, I'm getting, that aftertaste is the same as the smell. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste so good, but it does really alright in the spice department. Yeah, that's definitely very spicy. It fills out the mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I like that. I don't like that. Yeah. I like the amount of heat that has. I don't like the flavour of it at all. Well, you could, this guy, you could add the heat to something else and hopefully Yeah, if you're putting that in, I think if you put that in a chilli, something, yeah, that might mask. It's not like a really vinegary taste, it's like a strange sort of, it's the aftertaste of the chilli they've used, I think. Yeah, surprisingly good, but surprisingly bad. Yeah, it's a, eh, neither good nor bad. It's good in the spice, not so great on the taste, unfortunately. But a downside better than those blinking zombie fingers. Oh. Yeah. Now, the next item you will enjoy. I'm 100% sure. Skull of hot sauce. It was fiery, as promised. Three dams. Yeah, it was seriously Diablo heat. Who doesn't enjoy swizzle sweeties? Oh, I like Drumstick. Me a good swizzles. Drumstick squashies. But I guess this is yeah. the horror, 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 creepy orange and black currant. I don't think I've ever had anything in creepy orange flavour before. No, I've never had a creepy black currant either. Hmm. Let's see. The orange bit's got holes in it, it does look kind of creepy. Ooh, you've got I a double. Got a Wow. Mmm, that smells really good. It smells sweet, it smells of orange, the orange bit. It smells like something you'd want to eat. Yeah. The orange bit genuinely smells like orange. Squishy and soft. Yeah. Except the orange bit on mine has uh, no, got some sort of... Like I hope no one's got trypophobia that's watching because... Uh, <laughs> it's very holy. Yeah. So, so how are these Halloween? Is it just because they're orange? The colour of our Halloween? They're, they're, they're creepy. Creepy orange and creepy black currant. I guess when they were stuck together they were creepy. Yeah. They smell good. And they're in a bag that's Halloween thing, you see? Yeah. Make some eggs bad well on there. That's how you do Halloween. It's got a Halloween thing. Yeah. I'm quite interested to try these, I thought. Mm. Oh yeah. That's good. They're really tasty. Mm. Sweet but not too sweet. Yeah, not really, really sweet. It's nice and chewy. Well, not too chewy, it sort of dissolves as well in your mouth very right quickly. Yeah, it doesn't right. overstay its welcome. Mm. Yeah. They've done, mm. done a good, but that's a good combination of flavours because the normal squashies is a... Uh, mm. They, come, they stick together quite a lot. I think. Normal squashies is like strawberry flavour or something, I think. I feel like it's, there's a tiny picture of the normal one. Yeah, strawberry flavour. So it is a unique flavour, like this orange flavour. It is, yeah, this orange and blackcurrant. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Very good. Your best trick or treat is the ones that made you go, oh, ah. Oh, ah. You give them that. Definitely. Let them know it's Halloween time. Oh, yes. 
drumstick squashies. How many dans? I reckon these were five dans. They were really good. Nice, tasty treat. Yeah, seriously squashable. <laughs> it's a shame we didn't really have a drink. Yeah, I mean, wait. I did bring along a little something something in the name of Panther Energy. Wow. It's not very Halloween-y. You, but... you couldn't have got a tin that was less beat up, could you? Well, this is fresh off the store shelves. This is the way the store wanted you to have it. Oh. This uh, this will help you think sharper. It'll just really clear our minds and our palates <laughs> for all these all this sugar. Yeah, we couldn't really find a Halloween flavoured drink. Halloween flavour. Well, to be fair, previously we had Gumball 3000, which... Yeah, so we, we couldn't get a, a Halloween drink, but we thought we'd done an energy drink on Halloween before, so... It's costing up, it's good for us. It's, it's, on, it's on theme for us. 30p this. Yeah. The price wasn't scary. No, quite the bargain. You should have got, got 5p off for that huge dent, man. Yeah, I should have uh, complained. Got a discount. Let's, uh, anyway, let's divide this up and give it a try. I can't imagine it's anything special at 30p. I can't remember, the, the Gumball 3000 was like 25p though, wasn't it? It wasn't dear Gumball 3000, yeah. no. Grab your glass, Dan. Yep, that's um, that's P, that's P yellow, just like uh, energy drink. Generic urine yellow. I yeah. believe uh, on previous year I said uh, yeah. you're in trouble when you urine yellow. Yeah. But I was a monster then, so I said it differently. Yeah, no, you just got to. Right, now I'm just deceased. Yeah. I think you're fine. You've wiped the blood off your glasses, no one can tell. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that smells super generic. It does. It's, it basically. In fact, just, in fact, even though it was a while ago, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that smells exactly like the Gumball 3000. <laughs> it does. It's basically the cheapest energy drink concoction that I've ever seen or smelled. Yeah. With added vitamins. Is it that stuff that you get, you know, I think they're called Red Booster or something. They came in those silver bottles, about great big bottles. Just oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Might have been Red Rooster. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. It's cheapest, like, lowest of the low energy drink but okay. so, so, so let's try it let's not judge about my smell it's very thin it is surprisingly thin for an energy drink mm. i mean all the the key parts of it are there <clears throat> what compounds are it using for its energy taurine ginseng uh, i'm not doing the actual ingredients Caffeine and taurine. Caffeine and taurine. Yeah. It tastes very thin and it's quite light on flavour. I mean, it tastes like it's got that energy makingness in it. It tastes how I expect it to taste, but it's quite light on flavour. It's not um, as strong as something like um, a Red Bull or a knockoff Red Bull. I guess if you need a quick pick me up, 30 p it's not too bad to ask. It doesn't taste that great. Mm. No. If you were thirsty, I wouldn't drink this. If you were, if you needed a quick boost and you didn't have a long time, then you could drink this quite, quite quickly with how thin and um, and light on the flavour it is. Mm. It's very sweet, but it's nowhere near as sweet as, let's say, the body bits we had before. So. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's not fine. too bad. It's middle of the road. It's fine. I'm not really a big energy drink. Drinker, but it's, it's fine. I wouldn't reach for it, but no. I wouldn't say no when I was off the one. Yeah. Panther energy drink. Middle of the road. I could afford it two dams. Yeah, I'd say it was seriously. Panther. Uh, excellent. <laughs> well, that was a fantastic year once again. Yep, yeah, that's it, I suppose. So, um,. Not much left to say, but we will see you next Halloween. We'll see you next Halloween. You know, you can uh, follow us on Facebook and uh, yeah. Twitter. Facebook, Twitter. We'll post when we can. Um, we don't say too much on those platforms. Yeah, we've got our new podcast if you want to watch that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Not quite serious that'll, podcast. There'll be links somewhere for that, either on the video or in the description or down the side. Yeah. Wherever. There'll be some link somewhere for that, so 
If you don't mind me, I'm gonna remove this axe from my head and use it to attack Cleon. <laughs> 